government economic objectives and policies crazy cambridge igcsc business study 0450 what is crazy cambridge about it's a channel where i provide igcsc and as video explanatory videos for you to understand the basics in a better way and here for igcse subjects i provide seven subjects which include business economics accounting biology physics english and mathematics for as i provide business economics and accounting plus i also provide examination tips and a few past paper solved past papers here is the syllabus for it we're going to look at the government economic objectives and we're going to look at the main stages of the business cycle regarding the taxes and the policies we're going to do it in the next in another video for this video is going to be about the economic objectives first let's look at what are the government objectives first we have low inflation then low unemployment economic growth balance of payments we'll have a close look at each of them first one is low inflation so what is inflation inflation is when there is an increase in the general price level of goods and services in an economy so it's always better to not have a high inflation if there's a high inflation it will mean that the prices are really high which is going to discourage the consumption of goods and services in return it will also reduce the overall aggregate demand in the economy and that's going to create economic issues so it's always better to target for a low inflation rate now let's look at the problems with high inflation the first one is it reduces the value of wages so people are not able to buy as many goods and services as before then reduced international competitiveness so the prices of goods will be higher than the prices in other countries and this is going to result in getting higher imports so you're going to import more goods from other countries or foreign products and this is going to reduce the the job opportunity in the country as there will be less um, locally produced goods and then it's going to create a problem within the country of an unemployment so that's going to also have a problem in the balance of payments so it's all linked then reduced living standards so businesses are unlikely to expand resulting in fewer jobs so lowering the living standards then low unemployment so this occurs when people who are willing and able to work are not able to find a job let's look at the problems with high unemployment now if there is high unemployment there will be a loss of output so unemployed people do not produce goods and services and the third second one is increased costs for the government the government will have to spend more on unemployment benefits money given to unemployed people unemployment benefits means the money given to unemployed people so it's always better to have a low unemployment rate and a high employment rate the other one is economic growth so first let's look at what gross domestic product means which is also known as G gdp so this is the total value of goods and services in a country in one year economic growth is when there is an increase in this gdp so as the total value of goods and services increases in the country in a year it will cause the gdp to increase which is also known as economic growth the problems with no economic growth is that the first one is unemployment so if the total value of goods and services produced falls there will be less workers needed to produce the goods that will mean that there will be fewer jobs provided for people in the country and it's going to uh, it's going to cause unemployment then lower living standards fewer jobs mean less income so people cannot afford fewer goods and services so their disposable income with them that decreases so they cannot spend or consume goods and services too much then we have low business expansion low business expansion is when businesses are less likely to expand because the people in the country are having less money to spend on the goods and services now let's look at the business cycle this is known as a business cycle where here first we have growth then boom recession slump and growth we're going to look at what each of them means 
So growth is when there's a rising GDP, which means gross domestic product, because the goods, the goods and services are increasing. So the production of goods and services is increasing, the unemployment is falling, and there is a high living standard in the country. So that's known as growth. Then boom is when there's a lot of spending happening in the economy. The prices will rise too quickly, which is going to also, uh, which is causing high inflation. It means high inflation when prices rise. It will quickly rise and result in high cost for businesses as well. Then recession is low levels of spending in the econo economy. So less goods and services demanded and produced and the GDP is then falling, then unemployment will rise. So a good example is during this COVID situation where the GDP fell, unemployment was rising, there was less spending in the economy and there was basically a recession. The countries were in a recession. So this is known as recession. Then slump is a major recession. After recession comes slump, which is a major recession, which is a where like there is high level of unemployment and many businesses are failing. After these four stages, again the cycle will start on. It'll again go from growth, boom, recession, slump, growth, boom, recession, slump, like that. Now let's look at the fourth. Um, objective which is balance of payments this is the difference between a country's exports and imports what is an import import is when goods and services are bought from an other country export is when goods and services are sold to an other country now let's look at what balance of payments surplus means this is a value of a country's export is higher than the value of the country's imports so when the exports are higher than imports, it's known as surplus. Then balance of payment deficit is when the value of a country's exports is lower than the value of the country's imports. So we're going to keep the government economic policies for the next video. I hope you understood the economic objectives. Thank you for watching Crazy Cambridge. Please do subscribe, like and share.